Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back, Patrick here. And in this video, we got another factored polynomial, this function here, we got to figure out, is it even odd or neither? Gonna follow the same process that I followed in the last video. So we got f of x here. Now what we got to find is an expression for f of negative x and then negative f of x, and then see if any of these equalities here hold. So let's start off with finding f of negative x. So what we're gonna do here is plug in negative x for all the x values. So then we'd have negative x minus one, then we'd have negative x plus one, like that. Now, what we wanna do, as I mentioned in the previous video, is we wanna take each factor and make sure that it has a positive leading coefficient. So it's in the same format as the function that was given. Notice we have a one in front here, a one in front there, a one in front there, they're all positive. So let's try to simplify this a little bit. Now negative x squared, we know that that's just gonna be x squared, right? Because as a review, negative x squared, there's like a negative one here, the negative one would go to the power two, and then x would go to the power two as well. So we would end up with x squared here. In fact, if you have negative x to the power of n, and n is an even number, then that's just gonna equal x to the n. And then if you have negative x to the power of n, and n is an odd number, then you're gonna just end up with negative x to the n because that negative one is gonna to go to the power of n, and if n is an odd number, negative one to the power of an odd number is going to be negative one. Right, so this here would end up being x squared and then we'd still have this plus four. Now what we do here is we wanna factor out a negative one from these brackets in order to make that leading coefficient in the factor positive again. So if we factor out a negative one here, all the signs would change, this would become x plus one. If we factor out a negative one here, all the signs would change, that would become x minus one. And so now what you wanna do is you wanna take this negative one, multiply it with this negative one, that's positive one, times four, that just gives us positive four, and then rewrite these factors, x squared plus four, x plus one, x minus one. So that is the simplified expression for f of negative x. And notice actually that f of negative x is equal to f of x, right? We got the four, got the x squared plus four, got the x plus one, and then we got the x minus one. Right? It's the exact same function, so we know this equality holds. So just from that, we can tell that the function is even. But if we wanna take it a step further and show an expression for negative f of x, um, what would happen here is we would just put a negative in front, right? We would take this function, just multiply it by negative one, so this would become a negative four. And then all the other factors stay the same. Remember, we don't distribute that negative one to the other factors because we're multiplying everything. So only that um, expression in the front gets multiplied by negative one, right? So that is negative f of x. And notice that this is not equal to that. So we know the function is definitely not odd. Right, so this function ends up being even. Now, another format this could have been in is, um, <clears throat> just kind of want to give you a heads up of how else this could have been written, is this could have been x squared minus one as well. This is a difference of squares that was factored. So if you perform the same process on this, um, it would actually be easier on this because <clears throat> you'd have negative x squared and negative x squared. Those would just turn into positive x squared and you end up with just the same function. You wouldn't even have to factor out these negative ones, right? But because we had a negative x here, a negative x there, we had to do that factoring process, right? So whichever way you do it, this function is even. 